Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another speed build. In this speed build, I'm building a stylish bachelor pad on a 40 by 30 lot in Solani. Of course I'm building in Solani once again, but I have asked you guys and it seems like you are still enjoying all the Solani builds, so I still haven't stopped building there. I'm so obsessed with this pack still. So at first I want to say a couple of things about the pool because as you just saw this is what I started the whole build with and after that I'm going to say a couple of things about the rest of the build basically. So a while ago I have made a tutorial for an ocean infinity pool for Solani. So the pool is kind of built inside the ocean. The ocean is the pool, whatever. This sounds confusing. However, this tutorial was inspired by Kai Belver and she gave me permission to make this tutorial and I think it looks super fun. And then I saw that the very talented MT Sims made another tutorial for an infinity pool built inside the ocean and it just looks super modern and super cool and this pool right here that I'm building now was inspired by MT Sims infinity pool tutorial so what he did was he activated the BB dot show hidden objects sheet and this way you can access the city living foundation that is completely translucent I have also used this method for another infinity tutorial that I've made I have made a tutorial for just a regular infinity pool, not an ocean infinity pool. However, he used that foundation so the pool was completely translucent, just like this one as you just saw. But what he then did was he used the little lighting stripes that are part of Spa Day and he placed them at the bottom and then he used a get together object that he placed in the corner. And this way he created the illusion of the whole pool being translucent and it just looks like one big glass pane. It just looks like one beautiful for window because if you're just placing windows inside a room for example it just looks totally different because you see each individual windows there are cc windows out there that look like one big glass pane you can just combine them you have two windows for the left and the right side kind of the corner windows and then you have the pieces that you can place in the center and this way you can create this but this is cc free as all of my builds and his method helped me to create this illusion and it's such a such an ingenious idea really of course i'm going to link his channel and his tutorial down below his content is portuguese but even if you're not speaking portuguese it's totally worth watching his video and looking at his amazing builds because he's just out of this world talented i can totally recommend checking him out but enough about that magnificent pool that your sims are surely going to enjoy, at least I hope so. So this house, as I said, is a bachelor pad, so this is not a family home or anything. This is really just a house for one sim or maybe two sims. This is not a house for living the happy family life. <laughs> so I included two bedrooms and one bedroom is kind of the master bedroom. It's an end suite, so it's a bedroom with a bathroom attached to it and this is just the yeah, the master bedroom for the sim who owns this house. But I also included one additional bedroom. This is not a kid's room, just a regular bedroom. I figured if there is another sims kind of over at his or her house and just wants to stay, there's just um, additional space, just like some type of guest room maybe. The house has three bathrooms in total. One bathroom is attached to the master bathroom as I said and then there are two additional bathrooms. One is at the top and one at the bottom floor so there are enough bathrooms for everyone. So for this build I was kind of going for a very modern kind of look as you can tell and I kind of had to chuckle when I noticed that I once again used the get famous pristine pedestal. At this point it's just almost a running gag but I was somehow going for another modern build and I just I don't know I just couldn't I could not use it. I just had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I used it to kind of create this very modern shape and these very clean lines. And I don't know. I feel like this is what made this build look more special. Especially those cubes that were added at the top at the roof. As you can see here. I was just going for this type of look. It's definitely not really minimalistic. There's a lot of stuff going on. Especially without those cubes. And I also used this kind of white 
weird stone slab that is part of a think body. It's usually supposed to be placed on top of water. So it looks like one of these stone slabs that you can walk on, but the Sims can actually not walk on them. And I sometimes like to use them for other stuff. So on the right side on that patio area or something, I just sized them up and placed them there just to add more detail basically. I was going for a color combination of this very white color because white always looks modern and then I just used the Solani wallpaper that we got the wooden one in a kind of very bright wood color so it looks happy and I kind of wanted to go for a different color this time. I also used a Solani wood floor and there are so many stairs as you saw in the beginning. I wanted to attach the stair on the left side to the pool but you may have noticed while I was talking about the pool that I was struggling really hard with these stairs. The terrain has been acting super weird since the patch. I don't know but the stairs are also acting weird. This is why I had to make a fix for my many stair tutorials that I've made in the past. I released a video with a fix for all my tutorials because I don't know things just seem to work a little bit different now. Maybe I'm wrong but this is kind of what it feels like and I'm also really sure that usually it would have been possible to build these stairs this way but I don't know. But to be honest I haven't really built outside of Solani so this might be a Solani problem because as you guys know, we cannot use the train tools on the waterfront lots, but we can use them on these lots. And a while ago, I was working on something and as soon as I used the train tools on a Solani lot and I wanted to just move the lot, sometimes I'm just starting to build something and then I don't like the position and I just move it a bit to the back, for example, and I couldn't. It would give me some weird terrain error. I don't know, but I feel like this might just be a Solani glitch. Things are weird and different, but I hope we are going to have have a patch soon. I don't know what's going on <laughs> but eventually as you saw it all worked out fine. These wooden wall decorations I have no idea what they are called a part of Get Famous. Also some of the modern windows that I use so I just kind of used a combination. As you guys know there is a lot of modern stuff in Get Famous and I feel like you can combine these things really well with the Solani island living windows and all that and as always I added tons of shelves you know I love to do that and yeah the pool is kind of the star because of the translucent front section and the cute floaties and I use the spade monolith it's just one huge column or a monolith I sized it down and I placed it inside the pool I thought it would look so cool to have a column that is kind of inside the pool and that is supporting the balcony or the I don't know yeah it's technically a balcony the balcony over it and I think it looks so cool and I just raised a bit of foundation on the left side and added my cubes just so I have almost some type of really modern fancy flower bed I guess you could say and I also decided to add a curved path and for this I used once again the get famous pristine pedestal and I just created a round shape. I explained this in multiple tutorials, but I'm quickly going to explain this in case this is kind of the first video you are watching here and you have no idea or something. So what you do is you activate the Sims 3 camera. Otherwise it won't work. You have to activate the Sims 3 camera. You can do that in the top right hand corner. Then you hold down Alt on your keyboard. You hold down your left mouse button and then you move the mouse and you can rotate objects freely. And this way you can create round shapes. I have made a tutorial for a round ocean pool and in this tutorial I'm explaining all these things. So even if you are not down to build a round ocean pool, in this tutorial I'm actually explaining a lot of these basics. So if you want to learn something about that, go check that video out. A couple of videos ago I was talking about the crazy heat wave in Europe and I was kind of complaining about the hot weather because it was unbearable and I actually felt like jumping into Solani's ocean but now it's just so cold here but it's super weird because part of Germany are like really really hot and then other parts are almost cold and I'm kind of freezing at the moment so now I once again wish I was in Solani but not to jump into the cold ocean I just want to chill at the beach and want to feel warm I don't know I know people are often like some people are never happy with the weather but actually I am like I 
I don't know, I like when it's like 20 degrees and maybe it's fall or spring, but this is like so weird when it's hot and then cold. This is, it's driving me crazy. It's like back and forth, back and forth. So here I'm working on the interior. I used a get together sofa. I think it looks super fun because it almost looks like a bench, but it's supposed to be used on the interior. At least that's what I'm thinking. And get together has a Tudor kind of style. It's very rustic, but these, the back section of the sofa, these stripes, I don't know, but they kind of reminded me of some type of beach house. This is also why I used this wallpaper here, but I'm going to change this up. But these stripes just totally reminded me of this kind of look. And I was going for a mix of a modern interior and a very kind of traditional interior. And I felt like using these sofas or benches are just something different for once. I used the island living sofas in the living room, but for this area, I just wanted to use these so there is like this kind of open living area and then in the back there's another living room that has a TV and all that so it's kind of a really fun floor plan. I use the island living counters as you guys know we don't have an island counter we don't have cabinets so I just kind of tried to make the best out of this. I didn't build a huge kitchen this time. My bachelor house I wanted to keep the kitchen area kind of simple but I still wanted to have a big dining table and all that kind of a place where you entertain your guests and where everyone is gathering and you may have a small party or something but I didn't feel like I have to have a big focus on a kitchen because I feel like this is quite typical for a family home and as I said in the beginning I wasn't really going for the look of a family home but part of the interior is still very rustic and cozy. I was going for that very cozy kind of beach house feel. Not super ultra modern on the inside but still very cozy and just a very fun place where you want to stay and spend your time. So in the living room I built a big bar because once again I wasn't going for that family home feel and I felt like a huge bar where you are once again having a party or entertaining guests is just perfect for any type of bachelor pad. I still wanted to include really anything that you would need. A piano and just a beautiful wall with a lot of island living pictures. These are available in the debug menu so you just have to enter baby.show hidden objects and then you can use these paintings yourself if you are curious where you can find them. And this is the bathroom that is located at the bottom that I mentioned earlier. For the bathroom I was kind of going for a more modern feel. I always love to do this for my bathrooms. I think I, I mean sometimes when a house is really rustic I like to build a bathroom that is more rustic, but for some reason I have a tendency to always kind of build more modern bathrooms. I don't know why, it just looks so clean and so perfect. I just love that look for a bathroom. And this is the top floor. I used the same get together benches that I used at the bottom. I just placed them in the hallway and then I furnished the two bedrooms. I was going for a very typical island living look for these bedrooms and as you can see on the left side there is the other bathroom that is attached to the master bedroom. Then I noticed that I forgot a bit of clutter <laughs> in the kitchen so I just added more and yeah the master bedroom of course is bigger than the other one. The other one is just very simple. I just added a bed and two cupboards and that's kind of it. Like a very basic kind of regular guest bedroom that you would expect in a house like this probably. So the master bedroom is definitely the star amongst the bedrooms. But I'm pretty sure this is how it's totally supposed to be. So this is almost it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this build. As always it's available in the gallery. You can find all the information down below. Of course I didn't use any CC. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye!